Now, there is no handbook for parents. And in South Africa, there are tens of thousands of young people who have children. And this is not easy to deal with, especially for young girls. The Linzwa Foundation in KwaZulu-Natal says the province registered 18,550 births for children aged 10 to 17 during 2019 and 2020. According to Statistics South Africa, more than 83,000 children gave birth countrywide during the same period. Now, the foundation is going to be hosting a seminar titled Young Parents of Today. That's uh, June the 22nd. That's next week. Now, let's speak to the foundation's Lindy Wey to find out more about their initiative. Lindy Wey, good afternoon. Welcome to Today on ENCA. Thank you very much for your time. So what's the main purpose of this uh, seminar you're going to be holding next week? Okay, um, good afternoon and uh, thank you for affording me this chance to speak about the, the, the program. Okay, the, the aim of the program is to promote a, resp a responsible parenting. Of course, what is happening now, a, a, a child will, have, will give birth at the age of 15 years. Then only to find that once her child becomes 15 and then the child as well gives birth. So what we normally do, we always uh, talk about teenage pregnancy and we end up forgetting about the kids that have, uh, that are already mothers. So we are trying to, to educate them about the dangers of having kids at the early age, because some you find that they, she already have a child. And then the following year, it becomes a norm, then she would have another child. So we are trying to teach them to be a responsible parent not to have uh, unnecessary uh, to to give to have kids like more more than one child before getting married. So you're going to be sharing with them uh, some tools and skills and information about how to avoid becoming pregnant again. Yes, with the help of Kadisa Clinic, they will be like um, sharing tools, and also we've invited young mothers who who knows the struggle of becoming a mother. We also invited young, uh, young grandmothers to speak to them. Because honestly, what we're trying to do is to break the cycle. Because it becoming, it, it's becoming a cycle now. We are having more young mothers than the, the, or the old mothers. And you find that the kids uh, grow up in a very, a very bad environment. Because it does not even affect the child only. It also affects uh, the society as well, because now we are we are living in a society where we are living with kids that are not raised properly. Some become drug addicts, some become stiff, and then you find that maybe a girl once the girl the girl find that she's not getting love from her, the, the parents, and she turns herself to sugar daddies. So it becomes a cycle. Yeah, and breaking that cycle is important, as you say. Uh, I mean, what kind of, of, of initiative do you think can help? Because you correctly point out, we talk about teenage pregnancy, but then we're not focusing on the young parents to help them and, and give them the necessary tools and skills and information to cope. Okay, I think it starts with us as adults. Because what we normally do, we tend, uh, okay, let's just say that once a person turns 30, then we will say that, oh, Lorna, she's aborting the kids. Why she doesn't have a child? Also, we need to start understanding that you, we, we can't just have unnecessary kids. A person must plan to have a child because having a child is a responsibility. I always say that whether you are 10 years or 14 years, once you have a child, you are no longer a child, you are a mother. So now you need to be responsible. So what, what uh, um, uh, we are trying to do is to teach them responsibility and also sh uh, showing the means of um, avoiding having kids like pre prevention, prevention methods and as well promoting um, independence because some of them, they depend on the, ma on the guys and then they end up having unnecessary kids because now they, they are financially dependent to them. And they end up sleeping with them. Even some, some of them don't even want to. And some they do it because they think once they give into the guys, they are, they will get love. 
Yeah, so next week, Thursday, the 22nd of June, you are hosting this. I mean, uh, who, who's going to be part of this? What can the young people there of Guadalajara as well look forward to in KwaZulu Natal? And, and, and uh, what will be the content like? What can they expect to get out of it? Who will be speaking? Okay, we were so lucky because when we introduced the, the idea, social Department of Social Development, Ongoye um, Seket, they loved the idea, even the districts, they came on board. So we'll have social workers who are qualified, who will be talking to them, uh, teaching them about uh, the responsibility, how to be a responsible mother. Kandisa Clinic, we a system team from Kandisa Clinic, also will teach them about the data dangers of having a child at an early age. Because uh, not only the parent is in danger when she's pregnant, but also the child is in danger. And also, as I said, we also have guests that are coming in who have experienced uh, the, uh, the difficulties of, of becoming young young parents. And also, in Bosi, Umkwanazi and Umkanjuonge will be part of, because we believe that this is something that everybody uh, is affected by. Even our leaders need to come in. We need to fight. It's, it's a fight that everybody needs to fight. I see it becoming a pandemic. Okay, so you've in involved the local traditional authorities as well? Yes. We, uh, and also the um, uh, Amakanze also are involved. The, the priest, we invited church leaders. Because I honestly feel that everybody needs to be involved. Hence, I, as, as we say, that there is no handbook but even though there is no handbook but we have a responsibility to okay. to groom our future leaders we have a responsibility to to um to raise responsible kids okay thank you very much Lindy way to good good luck with that uh, seminar next week thursday june the 22nd that's Lindy way to she is the founder of the linzoa uh, foundation in the Kwadlangezwa in KwaZulu Natal. Very important topic as well. I mean, as we mark Youth Day, we have to remember that we have tens of thousands of young uh, parents in our country and they need all the help and the support they can get.